bar team last week did a great job in, in their performance. I always knew we have, we have a good bar team, very consistent. Uh, last week they showed that they went 49.025, which is great for us because we don't do a lot of difficulty, but we're very clean team, we stuck majority of the dismounts and that proved to be the difference. And is that something that's kind of been progressing throughout the whole year, You're just working hard at it and trying to get better? Absolutely, yeah. We've been going at least a 48-2 or better, even with a miss. So we knew if we hit, everybody um, make all their routines and, and have at least uh, five good hits that we could we could go at least a 49. Who particularly was it on bars this weekend that did it for you? Well, it's, it's really hard to pick out one person because it was definitely a team effort. I mean, Alyssa Tellus has been a, a consistent 9-8 or better for us. Casey McCord hit her beam routine. Um, she went 9-7. Tommy went 9-8, 5-9-9 from one judge. Uh, Cassie Harris, uh, Kylie, it was just everybody, Dannon, everybody played a, a big part in that, um, that score. And now to the beam. I know we're going to focus on a little bit today, more than we usually do. There's been a lot of lineup changes for the beam over the course of the year. Is that right? Absolutely. Well, after coming back from Sacramento, when we had some beam woes, I like to say, we decided to come in, shake it up a little bit, give some um, other ladies an opportunity to compete, and we did. We had two, three freshmen competing for us on beam. Obviously, they were a little bit nervous by their performance, but they stayed on, and that was the difference. I mean, we stayed on and counted a 9-3-5 and still went 48-2, which was good. You got to stay on the equipment first and then let the judges judge you. Well, every day we put uh, the team through scenarios that they may face on the road. Like, we'll turn up the music really loud. We'll bounce balls. We'll have somebody running in front of the beam, jumping up and down. Anything that we can to distract them, to, to make them aware that they need to stay focused on what they're doing and not be aware of their surroundings so much. And now one thing, going back to this weekend, Tommy had a fantastic week, a record-setting weekend. Talk a little about her performance that you saw. Yeah, Tommy was phenomenal this weekend. I knew it was going to happen. If you look back to uh, since we started her stats, every week she's gotten better and better and better. This weekend, this past weekend, she pulled together, broke that record, 49-4. Uh, uh, was held by Sherla Choi, who I got a, an email, uh, ironically, on Sunday night and said, great job. I'm sad to see my record uh, broken, but it was great. She was happy for uh, Tommy. And actually, she's going to see Tommy next week uh, in Seattle because she's uh, living in Seattle, out of there. So Sherla was happy that her record finally uh, did get broken, but, but sad that, <laughs> that it actually happened. <laughs> All right, Coach, thanks for joining me again. Good luck this weekend. Thank you. But You had another great outing this weekend. It was a record-setting outing. Yeah. Uh, walk us through a little bit of that day for you. Um, basically, it was just a fantastic day by the team, and I don't ever pay attention to my scores, so I didn't know anything what I scored, but I was just relying on our team and just getting pumped from them and feeding off of their energy, and we just had a great day and just overall came out. And now your coach was talking about how you've kind of been progressing. I mean, you've had a great season so far, but even your stats have kind of been steadily on the on the up. What, what has been the key for you to, to keep increasing throughout the course of the year? Um, just being there for my team and keeping my body healthy and just helping my team out any way I can. All right, thanks for joining me again. Thank you. Today we're gonna to be on the balance beam, this piece of equipment right here. Balance beam is four inches wide, 18 feet long, and four feet off the ground. By far is probably one of the toughest events in gymnastics. It requires a lot of balance, a lot of mental toughness, and a lot of skill. What we have Kylie on the beam to demonstrating to us um, some of her tricks that she does on beam. Kylie is in our beam lineup, and it's just a very tough uh, event to do. What we look for when we're recruiting athletes for beam is that mental toughness that can do it day in and day out because it is by far the hardest event in gymnastics.